Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where we're playing Atari 2600 games in the order they came out in, roughly. Um, today we're starting something new instead of doing daily videos for the Nintendo and the Atari. I'm doing um, a couple videos every week. Um, so down in there, we'll tell you the schedule. But uh, today we're playing three games, Journey Escape, uh, King Kong, and Lock and Chase for the Atari 2600. And if we don't like this, we'll go back to the daily videos. I'm just trying to fix the Google algorithm that I think I broke. Uh, anyway, our first game today is Journey, The Escape, which came out in 1982. And there's the box. Uh, we just get the Journey album cover from Escape. It's for the Atari Video Game System and Sears Telegame Video Arcade. <laughs> So I don't have any uh, real fun facts for this game for the Atari version, uh, nor do I have the back of the box. So I'm just going to read from the Wikipedia here. Uh, this is from the game's manual. You're on the road with Journey. Yay! One of the world's hottest rock groups. A spectacular performance has just ended. Now it's up to you to guide each Journey band member past hordes of love-crazed groupies, sneaky photographers, and shifty-eyed promoters to the safety of the Journey Escape vehicle in time to make your next concert. Your mighty manager and loyal roadies are there to help, but the escape is up to you. Yay. Mm-hmm. Whoa, what's going on? Hey, we get a really bad rendition of a Journey song. Oh, okay. Um, so, am I supposed to collect anything? Or am I just avoiding? I'm just going to avoid things. Because um, what else would you do with your journey? You just avoid things. So I think there... I've played this game, maybe the arcade version. Maybe I played this version. If I remember right, up in the upper right-hand corner, it says SS, which is the name of the band member. I don't know the name of that band member, but their name is SS. Um, you know. Oops. I have no idea what's going on here. The button doesn't seem to do anything. Did I die? Okay, I guess I died. Okay, let's try that again. I have to do this for 52 seconds. Look at those shifty-eyed promoters. Those must be the groupies. I don't know what that yellow thing is. Apparently we have a light on the top of a traffic sign, maybe? That's what that is? I don't know. More shifty-eyed promoters. Where are these photographers? Oh, that's probably what that light flashing light that I thought was a traffic sign light was. I'm guessing that is a photographer taking my picture. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. That's a time limit, not how long we have to do this stupid thing. I get it. I get it. This game's dumb. Okay, so Journey, the Escape, graphics get a, um, those are two, um, sound, a, um, hmm, a one, it's kind of a farty, synthy sound. Music had one version of a Journey song that didn't sound very good, and then whatever the heck that song was that was playing when we were actually in the game. <laughs> Uh, one and a half story. Um, a one controls, as far as I can tell, you just move a dude around. Um, but controls work, I guess. 3.5 funness. A one doesn't hold my attention. A one, only for the fact that it's journey, makes it a little interesting. Overall, journey escape is going to get a two. And that was journey escape. And let's go on to the next game. All right, so our next game is King Kong on the 2600, which King Kong came out in 1982. And just have your traditional uh, King Kong on top of the uh, Empire State Building. And is that Indiana Jones up there trying to climb the building? Sure. And King Kong apparently can throw bombs. Uh, that's a new one. And let's see. 
Oh, that's clever. Look at He's like, the back of the box is the back of King Kong. It's kind of cute. Rescue the lady from King Kong's clutches at the top of the Empire State Building. You must climb to the top of the building while avoiding, jumping, the bombs of King Kong is throwing it. Where is he getting bombs? Who is giving King Kong bombs? The quicker you save her, the greater your bonus. So uh, this game was programmed by Carl T. Olinger and is a clone of uh, Donkey Kong, which is funny because um, Donkey Kong was kind of sued by Universal. Anyway, this game is from Tiger Vision. It's the first game uh, from Tiger Vision and Tiger Electronic Toys, who made this game, also licensed it to a handheld version to Tandy, which is kind of funny because Tiger became known for making handheld games um later so that's i guess your fun fact of the day so this is king kong oh he is an ugly gingerbread man looking thing okay <laughs> uh i get to watch that again it's so good we get to watch it again it's awesome Uh, can't... There we go. There we go, game. Those are supposed to be bombs? It looks like you're throwing birthday cakes at me. Or birthday hamburgers. So yeah, this is a clone of Donkey Kong, and it's not a very good clone of Donkey Kong. You couldn't even copy this right? Oh, tiger. Boop, 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 boop. Crazy, wacky, crazy, wacky. Oh, you got destroyed. I'm gonna hit my uh, trusty Billy Mitchell button here and rewind. And let's see if we can avoid that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's coming back! Hey, you can jump backwards. Now we're playing with power. Jumping backwards power. I think this guy, I mean, looking at his hair. I don't know. He's got a little orange poof of hair there sticking out. I don't know if I like this guy. That's not fair. I'm rewinding. I gotta at least get to the top here. Okay. Why is the monkey at the bottom now? Okay. And jump! I jumped. I hit the button. You heard me. I said the word as I did it. I can't jump up here? I guess not. Well, that's stupid. Leave me alone! I'm trying to cheat my way out of this problem. Okay. Apparently you can't jump on the top level. That's really dumb. Okay. Yay! We did it! So exciting! And it just repeats, so that's great. Alright, let's rate this game. So, King Kong graphics, uh, you get a, oh, one and a half sound, uh, one music, it's really annoying, but it has music, unlike most Atari games, so we've got to give it a two. Story, uh, it's King Kong, sort of, so we'll give it a two and a half. Controls, they're fine for what they are, not as good as the Donkey Kong game was, we'll give it a two. Funness, I'd rather play Donkey Kong, or does it hold my attention? One overall, King Kong gets a 1.5. All right, so let's go to the next game. All right, now we're playing the next game, which is Lock and Chase, which came out in 1982. And Lock and Chase, the uh, front of the box, is one of these M Network uh, and Television made these games for the Atari 2600. And um, we got some yellow guy and some cop people with whistles. I don't know. Lock and chase cartridge for one or two player, two skill levels. Each player has five thieves. One thief robs the bank vault at a time. Run into a cop and he's caught. Keep picking up the gold. Get extra points for getting the treasures. Slam doors and get cops off the trail. Trap police between two doors for bonus points. Sounds like fun. <laughs> this game is an Atari, um, or a Pac-Man clone anyway. Um... And it was also published on the Atari 8-Bit family as Money Hungry in 1984. Uh, it was released on the Nintendo Game Boy, uh, part of Data East Arcade Classics on the Wii. Um, 
some guy, Jason Vasiloff, set a world record of 136,000 points in 2018. Uh, it was also s featured in the game Heavy Burger, uh, and they're going to do a remake on the Intellivision Amico. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. So this is Lock and Chase. And yes, it is. A, I can confirm it is a clone of Pac-Man. And I have been caught. I am a bad thief. Okay. Probably don't go that way. <gasps> a thing! Get the thing! Aww. What's the button do? Let's see. Another thing! Yeah. The button makes me put a wall down, you know, like those thieves that just carry walls with them. Uh-huh. This is a Pac-Man clone. It's a little bit different. I like you can put walls down, that makes it different. And there's no power pellet type thing, so it's not a straight rip-off of Pac-Man, like some other games we've played. Looking at you, Casey Muncher. Oh, I just trapped myself. Probably not smart. Uh, 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 let's go this way. Get those two dots and these two dots. And then we'll warp, teleport, whatever it is. And get to the exit, which I guess is this at the top. Because the green bar disappeared. We defeated you, cops! Don't rob banks, kids. And that's it. And the game just keeps repeating. So let's rate this game. So lock and chase graphics are simple. Uh, one and a half sound, one uh, music. Did it have any? I mean, it had that weird sireny sound. Uh, half story. It's a one. I mean, you're robbing banks, I guess. Controls. Controls are fine. Probably the best part of the game. Funness. Uh, I'd rather play Pac-Man. Did I just say that on the Atari? I don't know about that. Funness is a three, does it hold my attention? A two, overall Lock and Chase is going to get a three. That was Lock and Chase, and we will see you next game. Thank you.